So one person is dead and dozens, in dozens of shootings that took place across the country over the weekend. All of this comes as the new federal data shows gun-related deaths are on the rise for young Americans. The CBS News Miami's Jared Hill is live with the latest on this. Jared, mm -hmm. one of those shootings took place at a party where teenagers would gather, correct? Yeah, that's right, uh, Keith and Betty. I mean, a lot of these happened at places where people were just trying to celebrate the weekend, whether it was Father's Day, Juneteenth, uh, just listening to good music. All of this raising some concerns uh, as we continue to see these uh, instances of gun violence in particular impact kids. A Father's Day celebration turned deadly on Chicago's south side yesterday evening. At least two people were killed, three others injured, after witnesses say someone drove by a park and started shooting. That came hours after another deadly mass shooting early Sunday, about 30 minutes away in Willowbrook, Illinois. That one during a Juneteenth celebration. The motive behind this incident is unclear. And then this is still an active investigation. Five people were injured during a shooting at another Juneteenth celebration outside of a lounge in DeKalb County near Atlanta. While in Washington state, police said a gunman randomly fired into a crowd at a music festival happening at a campground, killing two and injuring three others. My heart was racing. I, I mean, I was just kind of scared. The city of St. Louis is reeling after one teenager was killed and nine more injured in a shooting at a party Saturday night. The violence these children experienced last night is intolerable and unacceptable. At a Safe Communities event last week, President Biden spoke about the need to do more to stop gun violence. Prayers are fine. They're important. It doesn't happen again, but it's not going to stop it. You have to take action, have to move, have to do something. Heartbreakingly, according to the U.S. Gun Violence Archive, more than 800 children and teenagers have been shot to death in the U.S. so far this year. God, just think about that. 800 kids and teenagers so far this year killed uh, in gun violence. Last week, the CDC put out a study showing that homicide and suicides are now the leading cause of death for Americans 10 to 24 years old. And experts are saying that access to guns is a big part of why those numbers have spiked. You You're exactly right. Yep. 800 children. It is astonishing. All right. Thank you, Jared.